Welcome to Confessions of a Shopaholic. Just kidding, this is actually my second project of Project Tours with Angela Chantel. I'm Angela with Angela Chantel Interiors, and I'm here at my Sunday Rain project. So excited to show you guys the outcome of this project. So it was super fun and really creative to do. So to start with, before this was actually two booths together. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Brick City, but it's actually a local shopping area, and they have a lot of different boutiques inside this one um, area. So we had a small space to work with. This is only about 400 square feet. Um, but of course we wanted to fit a lot of clothes and not make it look too cluttered and still really pretty. So one of the main things that I wanted to offer with this boutique design is I personally do shop in Brick City and I thought like a big enough mirror to really just look at yourself, see your outfit and not have to go to the dressing room would be a really convenient thing in this area. So we decided to do a really big mirror here and have fun with the lights. So we did these bohemian inspired lights all throughout and kind of layered them at different angles. And I love the way that those turned out. When you're designing a boutique, it's all about how many clothes you have to fit, but also making this space shoppable to where you don't feel like you have too much stuff in it. And one of the things that we did was refurbish these shelves. These are actually just Amazon shelves that we painted and then did the gold on the fixtures. So I'm really excited about that. And then if you follow me, you know that I love a good little seating area because I feel like seating areas do make you money because whoever's shopping with you, if they want to go, but they have somewhere to sit. So we added this swing, which I think is just so much fun. <laughs> so, ah! Maybe not so good for me to get in and out of, but a kid or someone else younger. So we added the swing. Again, a tight space, not a lot of room for like things like that, but adding it into here in the quarter worked just perfectly. Another thing on the boutique that we really wanted to emphasize was like when they were walking by because you are competing with a million other clothing stores around you that there was something to draw them in so we left this space opened up and did the really pretty pink wall with the big mirror and the pretty greenery up above and thought that that would just be a really fun way to draw them in <coughs> Also, the space before was really dark, so we really wanted to brighten up this space with light pink on the wall and the bright white floors. So this is actually just a laminate floor that we did, but it's bright and white. And then we added really bright LED light bulbs into the light fixture. So definitely got that um, really bright look that we were going for added some fun little Magnolia Home nightstands to feature tennis shoes on. And then we also implemented this really pretty wallpaper, which you may recognize it from my first project tour. Um, it was just so beautiful and really fit the space with the pink and the green and everything that we were going for. And while I'm here, just a quick fun thing, I'm going to show you how I style combat boots. And again, I am wearing Sunday Rain, um, their clothes. So I'm going to show you just, um, I, a lot of people, combat boots are really in right now and people are looking for different ways to style them. So starting out with the leopard <laughs> blazer that I have on, and I'm just going to do a quick 
change into something more for a more casual look. Got the corduroy shirt on. This is the fun thing about designing a clothing store is you never run out of outfits. <laughs> so this is one, another look that you could do. And then one more thing, cause I think this is super cute, is just take a flannel like so. And then voila, three ways style combat boots. <laughs> and my project, Sunday Rainbow Tea. Thank you guys for joining me and I know that we'll have a lot more projects to show you.